Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in at Super Shoots out in the beautiful Utah mountains to talk about what is becoming my favorite gun that I have ever owned. With a little upgrading, which I will talk about, this gun is the perfect concealed carry gun. I'm talking about the P365XL. I love this thing. So, as always, I'd like to take the Garand thumb approach and start from the tip and go to the butt. Let's start with the slide. I love the serrations on it. The slide serrations are fantastic. You can do all your front of gun manipulating. You can do all of your back of gun manipulating. Simply put, the serrations are great. Every gun should have front and back serrations, but that is my opinion. But that's one thing that makes this gun amazing. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is the sights. They're Sig Light night sights. They glow in the dark. There's not much to be said about them. They're great. Um, I have never heard any complaints about these and I personally don't have any myself. I really love that they added the optic plate on this um, when they didn't with the original P365. I think this was very intelligent and I find it hilarious that Hollow Sun is outplaying SIG as far as the uh, carry gun optic game goes now. Uh, I will definitely be getting the 507K when it comes out and slapping that bad boy on here. As you'll see, I have an APLC on here, which is a light that must be run on guns with, uh, you know, Picatinny slots. Um, and if you know anything about the XL, you know that it doesn't come with a Picatelli, Picatinny slot. So I found a company called Tactical Development. I found them on Instagram and they make these, uh, these polymer rail adapters that you can attach to your slide that gives it your typical slotted Picatinny rail. And that allows me to run my Enforce APLC on here, which I think is a fantastic look. Whenever they come out with it, I'll definitely be slapping on the new Enforce Compact Light um, because I think that this is just a perfect little combination. Um, let's talk about the trigger. The trigger is fantastic. I'll show the gun is clear, flat face trigger, okay, not a lot before you hit a wall, a little bit of soft motion, then boom, nice and crisp. Um, I don't love crisp triggers, but I like this one uh, because it's got that little soft before the crisp, um, which makes it so that you don't anticipate that crispness. Some people think that these sound clunky, let's let it out, so reset's a little long but it's nothing crazy. Um, a lot of people don't like these triggers. I personally love the, uh, the X series triggers. Um, I believe this one in specific is from Grey Guns, which is an awesome company. I'm hoping to get one of their grip modules at some point to throw on here because I think they look saucy. Um, let's talk about the controls a little bit. Um, they are not ambidextrous. But that doesn't bother me because I am right-handed. So the uh, slide lock, whoop, slide release is very easy to get to, very easy to get your finger up on, very easy to release. Again, the trigger, oh, I like it. I don't think it sounds junky at all. I think it sounds great. Um, going back, let's now talk about this mag release. Um, this is one of the only things that I have a gripe with when it comes to this gun. It's a little, it's not very raised up there. Um, it takes some getting to and sometimes I do miss it because I don't push it in all the way and it does pop out on the opposite side which I know most guns do this, but I just don't love that in general. Um, this especially with how small the grip is, I really have a hard time um, with this, especially when my hand is on the other side here, uh, and I have to kind of break my grip because it's, I would like it to be up a little higher. I have to break my grip to come down with my thumb. That causes this finger to come back a little bit and block the other side of it. So sometimes I have issues with that, but it is not a major issue, it's just something I would prefer to be a little different. I would just like it to be a little bit more raised and not to come out the other side quite as much. Um, so let's talk about the grip and that's one of the things that I think makes this gun amazing is the grip. 
Um, if I get my full firing grip on there, you'll notice that my fingers engulf this thing. Now, I have decently large hands, not massive hands, and so um, I can't imagine uh, a person would love this gun if they do have massive hands. And if you have small hands, this gun will be amazing for you. I love it with my hands, personally. I like the fact that I get that full grip around. Now, the thing to consider with that is that my palm on my support hand doesn't really contact the gun at all. Um, it's mostly contacting my fingers and squeezing my fingers into the gun more, which personally, I don't mind. Um, I, I really like the way it sits in my hand. One issue I do have with the grip is that it's so small that when I go to pick it up, it does, sometimes I, I struggle to get a full grip around the gun. Thank you, Utah Railway. Now, um, I do not have the Flush Fit magazine in here, and I probably won't put it in for you guys because I personally don't think they're super necessary. If I was trying to go for like super deep conceal, sure, I would throw that in there. But I have two uh, 15 rounders with the extended base pad, and I like that uh, personally. This is how I carry it. I carry it with the extended grip pad on here and it really doesn't show at all so um, I don't think there's any reason not to carry it like this um, like I was saying with the grip it's just so small it is also incredibly thin like it is swollen at the bottom in order to give you a, a beveled magwell and I love that um, but this thing is so skinny and if you get the right holster with a claw and everything, it just sits up nice and tight to your body. Um, there is no reason this should be poking out the side of you. It's really not that long. And it's so thin that it just doesn't matter. So these are your typical uh, SIG uh, magazines. There's nothing special about them. They are metal. Uh, the little uh, pad at the bottom, you'll notice that it's just like a it's just a thing to extend the grip. The metal extends all the way down to the bottom. It comes with two 12 rounders, which like I said, I do not love those. And since I got two of these, I have not run those small ones at all. I like to have them just in case, you know, you never know when you're gonna need more magazines. But other than that, I don't see much of a reason of having them. Um, the reason I'm doing this review is because I've just reached 500 rounds with this guy and it hasn't skipped a beat. No failures, no malfunctions. I haven't even had issues with slide lock. Like you'd think with a tiny gun that I'd really be up there riding that slide lock slide release. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. When I'm doing my full firing grip, I don't even get close to it. So I've had no issues there. And then it just points so naturally as well. I love the sights. Um, as you'll see, it shoots very flat. Um, this is my go-to. Uh, I get 15 rounds. It's super thin, super concealable. With the rail adapter, I can run my light, which is awesome. Um, it's very customizable. I can throw a red dot on here eventually. I'm only a month into carrying this thing and 500 rounds in, but I really think that this is about to be my main, my go-to, so. Um, if you liked this review, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do to make my reviews better, and I will catch you later.